when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me So I usually start the videos with a what up, what up, what up, but for some reason this thing decided not to record any volume. So here's my attempt at saving this whole fucking video with a little voiceover. So right here I'm basically telling y'all blah, 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 a bunch of stuff about me going to pick up the C6 today. So pretty much that's what we was getting into. So we can just cut that short because now y'all know that today we're going to pick up the C6. So before we get ready to head to Saks Speed Shop, you know what I'm saying, I had to get my baby ready. Here I am sitting here talking to her. She's going to be laughing and cooing because she loves Daddy so, 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 so much. And you see, look at that face. Look at that little face right there. That is her enjoying Daddy time, me playing with her little hair because I was so happy she came out with all this hair. She wasn't bald-headed looking all funny like some of them babies that people be posting on Instagram. And I was right here, I was saying, look, she ain't going to need no lip fillers. She got nice long eyelashes, so she ain't going to need no eyelash extensions, none of that. She had nice little eyebrows. Look at that. Look at that beautiful little baby right there. All happy and stuff. Look at that. Yep, that's my baby. I'm telling y'all right here. She got all the features and all the good shit for me. I was saying I don't know who knows that is, but we're going to figure it out as she get older. I was saying she's uh, pale as hell and yellow like me, and hopefully she tends like her mom, because if not, she's going to be sunburning like daddy. But other than that, I think that was pretty much all I was saying right there, other than me interacting with the baby. And I think right here, this is the last clip that I need to voice over. So y'all kind of got lucky. I think right here, we're saying something about the long lines of somebody saying that the baby didn't look like me. She looked like Nita. And I was like, nah, I think she looks just like me. Pretty much my little mini me, my little twin. They have a little smooch like, mm, I'm glad you look like daddy. Yep, probably going to smooch her again. Yep, for figured. But yeah, comparison, man. See, my baby looks like me. She looks just like daddy. It's my little mini me. I think she looked like uh, me when I was little. You can see she got the eyelashes. Those are mine. Uh, Nita eyelashes are bald headed, so we know she can get those from her. And we're going to do a little side by side comparison with me and Nita right here. Look. Look at that. Who that baby look like? Who that baby look like? Nine months in the womb and she came out looking like me. She don't look like Nita. See? Daddy's baby. And I think after that, we get ready to leave the Saxby shop. So, uh, yeah, let's end all that. No more voiceovers now. Uh, I'm supposed to be picking up probably the SE either this week so we can put the 2J in or next week once the body work's all done and then I need to drop the FD off. This wrap is turning into caca and I don't want a, a repeat of what happened with the SE when it got all stuck. So sometime this week or next week I for surely need to get my FD there. That way we can start cleaning up this body and getting this thing painted. Make this thing look BEA beautiful. Get this punk ass crack and everything repaired and fixed. We got a lot to do, man. A lot to do. A lot to do. We are here. My baby back together. She back together? No, Ray said he put the... Huh? Oh, my bad. Bye. Hey, bye. Looks like it's damn near back together. We'll see what Reese... Re, re. We'll see what V... We'll see what Ray says when he gets back. Dusty, you need to wash her up for show. Grimy. All right, down, pump again. How long does it take to uh, come back up? Is it like two pumps? Uh, let me check right now. One, two, three. Three? Yeah. You gonna do it again? Yeah. Bruh, my center console all broken shit now. What do you mean? Look. Did you see how they take it off? Huh? Did you see how they took it off? No. They took the whole fucking thing off, like in one piece, and they ripped the e brake uh, cable and shit. <sighs> it's 
why you bring your your vets to Ray. Yep. Somebody says they can do it. Don't listen to them. Just bring your shit here. Be done. Fucking shit all broken. All right, here we go. First start up. Y'all ain't heard this thing in months. Months. Chopping. I definitely gotta drive off this old ass E85. And this weekend I'll be pulling this wrap off. this car so 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 much A little choppage Everything looking good. Burping the system right now. I need to add a little bit of air to these tires, but other than that, everything looking good. This E85 is the oldest hell in here, so I ain't gonna really do no pulls until I get this all the way flushed out. So hopefully the drive to D's garage will take care of a lot of the old E85 in here. I'm not sure how much I've parked this thing with, but I'm pretty sure it was probably close to full. What is that? Yeah, almost half a tank, not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna drive it out and then I'll probably fill up when I get to Vacaville, back towards the house somewhere over there. Stop and get some E and then it should be good. I think that'll, then we can do some pulls. <laughs> oh, I ain't drove nothing this fast in hella long, so this car gonna probably feel ungodly. It's been a minute since I've drove it, so you already know how that goes. You gotta get get back used to used to this shit. All I need is a jump in there, still thinking I know exactly what the car gonna do. And now, now I'm into a pole or some shit. Like we don't want that. No one wants Mike Mike in a pole, except for the haters. They want a nigga in the pole, like a stripper. <laughs> What's up? You the goat. You the goat. You know I love you. I know you do. I know. That's why you my baby daddy. <laughs> Everything feel cool? Chop 
fix the AC? Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> oh yeah, feel that shit. It's hella cold. Keep a keep a popsicle from defrosting now. Ooh. There you go. Summer ready. <laughs> Yeah! Alright, we're about to be uh, jumping on this thing and mobbing home. Mobbing home. Also gotta readjust my radio settings too. Since it's been battery been dead, gotta you know what I'm saying gotta fuck with that a little bit. Fitment, bruh. Ooh! Yep. Alright boys, we outie! I'm mobbing in the C6 right now. Car feels comfortable as hell. I forgot how smooth this car is, dude. Like, I almost kicked the damn firewall in because the clutch is so soft on this triple disc. Like, <laughs> I forgot how smooth this car was, dude. Like, this car is extremely smooth. I need to get alignment since the whole cradle and everything was just out. But, hey, other than that, everything seems to be good. AC's blowing nice and cold. Got the uh, music all set back up so everything is slapping. So yeah, we're gonna have a comfortable trip. I'm about to go over here and top off some E85 right now. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be on our way to D's garage. So we'll be doing a lot of driving today, but that's good. I get to get some miles and stuff on this uh, new diff trans and all the other shit we replaced. So yeah, man, let's get some E85 and then I'll be back with y'all. Kinda once we get back towards that way. So I'm about to throw my music back on and enjoy this nice AC. <laughs> for sure for our favorite cars but definitely definitely we can't argue that this is my favorite car to drive as a, a, a daily like all around car this is by far my favorite just fucking it does everything and smoothly like it's quiet in here but on the outside it's nice and loud when you get on it like it's the perfect street car perfecto anywho i'm out put my music back on be with y'all in a little bit all right we're just pulling up here d's garage Nice little drive, C6 ram. Perfect. Oh, left my key in here. That's what we don't want to do. Fuck around. Door lock on this. Pulling in here, you already know. My boy D. Oh yeah, that thing loud. What's good, boy? That was my first pull and this is I got it back. <laughs> I was like, I think you missed the driveway. I did. I blew right <laughs> past it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, he probably missed a little test run. Yep, I was like, all right, let me see how this thing feel. Blew right past it. Ended up at the dead end and shit. Yeah. This thing coming together? It's getting there. On the mock up, dude. So you finished the, uh, running the AC lines and shit, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. The AC and then all the uh, expansion tank. And shit like that, trying to get all the cooling formed right and shit. This thing's gonna be nasty as shit. Man, so nice. It's for the calipers, for the front and the back. Alright. Um, I know you said you didn't want to coat the front calipers, for sure, because I could pop those apart. It's the rears that are pain in the ass to pop apart. Uh, I ain't tripping. You sure? I mean, you're all <laughs> Why you so mean? That's why you locked up. <laughs> said tripping. <laughs> So you can see they gutted everything. Everything's in there. This uh, arm, the K9 was all squared off. Uh, it was way off. They yeah, didn't, didn't you you cut the you cut the wells off of there, didn't you? The old ones. Right here, where was all where was all welded up at? Yeah. So all that there, we had to cut that off on both sides, and then we dremeled it so at least the. Because the welds are also holding the uh, this little brace that they put on. Um, but on this side, we forgot to do it. We remember when we left, we were going to make a plate right here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because this, this is only held on by fucking thin ice. So we're going to at least plate that. Um, we cut all this. All this wasn't cut it out, so this arm would have never went up to like that. Hmm. So we did all what needed to be done, cut there. We cut this chunk and then reinforced it um, all there. Um and then up on top, we finally reinforced all that shit there. 
It's not the best, but it's fucking. Oh yeah, it, it will. It had big ass gap. Plate. Yeah, big old gap. Um, the other side, we actually had a clearance. The other side, they never even got the most. I always get camera and caster confused, but it wouldn't come out that far. Hmm. So that side, we were able to push it out more and then plate it again on that side. Um, okay. Shit like that there. And then this here. So if you look at that, you might be able to see it in the video, but it is not straight. So they crashed this side because that there, Duncan noticed it to where that was off. And then when I brought on the spindles, uh, one spindle was uh, bent and tweaked. We uh, put two and two together, it was like, the same yeah. side. <laughs> so they wrapped it on this side, and that was it. So we can get just a sleeve. He he already has it, so when he comes back over, he's going to bring it. We can just change this part here. Okay, And cool. then change that out. But the, the um, spindles are reinforced like a motherfucker now. Like, them things is uh, real nice. So yeah, my man, seen the, he seen the angle kit and was like, hey, this shit ain't right, so... <laughs> He was like, nah, this ain't uh, happening, but yeah, he reinforced these like no other. Put hella extra thick and plate, oh, yeah. everything, so it's hella strong now. And then obviously straightened it, because like I say, one of them were all yeah. tweaked and bent or whatever. So, but uh, yeah, he came over and he was on that note and mentioned some of that stuff there, that being tweaked and a few other little things. So now we got it all right and everything, so everything's cool. This car don't feel pretty good. Oh yeah, most definitely. And up here, y'all can see he got that AC bracket delete on there. Oh, yeah, I gotta bring that down and show you that too. I forgot. We got all the belts on there and everything. It's not 100%. It's not the way I would like to do it, but it will get you by. <laughs> I'll show you why too. Uh, oh, right here. It comes this way. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not technically. The factory way, that belt's supposed to go up this way. And then back down and around. And back down and around, so it's wrapping it. So technically, you're just bar barely spinning or free playing the alternator right now. I think it should still work and get away with it, but we have to ride it that way because it is dumb shit here that this is way over here, and that's because this thing was cut and brought the radiator that mm. way. So, I mean, we could cut this, add a tube, extend it, and do all that, but we can get away with it for right now just to get the car going and driving and stuff like that well we both know this motor is going to be coming out eventually exactly why i said you know what <laughs> he just wants to fucking make a couple of videos rip it up and down the block and be yeah there, so. that's what, literally if if, if we were going to be keeping this obviously we would have we would have did a maximum motorsport k member or something but already have the ls3 k member that that's going to go with the ls swap so it wasn't a point in buying another k member for this thing if we're going to be planning on ls swapping it so exactly and whoever ends up buying it and raffles it the belt don't have to be that way yeah because the radiator will be regular in the right spot yeah you can use a factory stock length belt and everything that was a hassle it took me a minute to go through the right belt <laughs> but i finally got that thing but it's all oh yeah look at that boy it's all in there and everything Boy. Yeah, I went through. I had one more other belt that came a little bit down. I was like, nah, we want the max. So that was the next size. The next size smaller than this, it would have rubbed on the bottom. So I'm gonna need this part number for this that. belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. So, it's nice and tight, too. Good. It's gonna oh, be yeah. good. It's solid as hell. Yep. And then we had to uh, cut down the little spacer that was on here, too, behind your vortex bracket. Because I don't know, they had some other mix match one, and it was too long. I kind of wish you would have grabbed that space when you grab this bracket. Uh, we eyed it the best as possible and then uh, did it there. We still just use that cap nut, but at least it got like two threads, but we red Loctite it, so it should be uh, good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look and see what spacer comes with the with the kit for it. Yeah, if not, you should be able to buy just that spacer. At least get the, the measurement um, onto there. So, and the other thing that was fucked up was this here is, I normally like to run the Anderson, um, can't think of the name right now but it's a it's a tensioner thing that holds pressure on this but we can't because the way they ran this blow off valve and everything it's in the way technically this tensioner should be way more down holding more pressure and then another bracket holding it but i can't do none of that so we're gonna mm -hmm. have to just hope no belt slip which we shouldn't with the the stock little six pounds or whatever um it, it should be fine but yeah this thing here should super came. close it, it's way too close i mean it won't even go because i already know if i took it apart that right behind right where this boss is here there's a threaded insert and that's where that bracket goes and pushes down hmm. um onto there so i was gonna buy that bracket but i'm glad i didn't because i could see it wasn't gonna work this bluff was hella close so, yeah 
hella close. So I said that whole thing should be down for another inch or two. Um, and yeah. we can't rotate it, huh? Nah, the I don't think so because I no matter what this is in the same yeah, position. Yeah, it so just matter, spins. It's yeah, pivots. it's just a, the oval thing. It's not like it's coming from here. It's this here. So no matter where we clock it, it's going to be the right issue. There. So like I say it, it should hold. But if you were to do more boost, smaller pulley, then I would be really. Uh, pushing or if the, the smaller issue. pulley would move it this way more though. It, it might, but it still won't have that extra bracket. Mm -hmm. And I really like that extra bracket from uh, Anderson. Um, it, it just holds pressure. Rather than you worrying about these two bolts, hopefully, holding it from the bracket not moving like this, there's another uh, bolt and bracket that pushes pressure on it 24-7. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to ever worry about no slippage or anything. That's what we've done with all the Vortex setups. But like I said, I think you're going to end up being fine. You're going to get a couple of runs in and a little swap. It ain't going to make the power LS3 going to make no way. You know what I mean? So you're really going to It's going to make all the cool whooshy noises and that's it. Exactly. So Hell yeah. I'm glad you figured this shit out. This is like, bro, I spent like two <laughs> days notching fucking tensioners and shit. I'm like, whatever worked for everybody else, I was like, it didn't work for me. So Yeah. Nah, you got to run an extra idler pulley here and shit like that to do it. But just to get this thing going real quick it's just simple and easy to do what you already wanted to do with the ac yeah this is um, this is good and tight that. so and then like if you were to really keep it and like want to rip it hella hard like i mentioned a, a bracket from here to like here or just like a a, a two brace lanes, it right there just to brace it yeah because i mean it's not bad but like if i was to take the tension on and off you can see a baby flex but hmm. we've run it before never had an issue but depending on the power level shit like that bro. this ain't even gonna make 400. Yeah. We already know. Yeah, we, yeah. That's why the LS SWAT need to come. <laughs> I'm telling you. We'll do that on NA. <laughs> do that on the NA LS1. I was just going to say, my LS6 <laughs> did that. In my 50, when it was NA, that thing made 415, I think it was, on just a Cayman exhaust. So, LS1, fucking 243s. What's good? Oh, What's man, good? Yeah, she's yeah. back. She's back on the road. I know, man. Oh, man. It's, I gotta time, pull, to, it's time to pull a wrap off. I'm trying to put some soap and water on it. I know. Oh, man. Rap cracking and stuff. Charlotte's web in there. Yeah, she she was <laughs> down for, for seven months down That's there. That's crazy. Yeah, let me see this. Let me check this out. Old man finally stepped his game up. Got off them them OEM shocks on lowering bolts. Springs, yeah. yeah, he finally got some coilovers. Coilovers on them. Looking looking kind of spiffy, huh? To raise the back passenger side up just a little bit more, but. Yes, yeah, this is good. It's a good height. When I first lowered it though. I was like, nah, I gotta leave it here. <laughs> I can go straight. <laughs> I can't turn. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. Let me gap it. Let me gap it. Run it. Let's go. You're about to break your your rear end again. No, nah, I got Z06. You know what I'm saying? I got the good stuff now. Feel me? Z06 drive line, baby. You got a better chance of breaking your shit. Squiggly. I gotta get used to it again. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't drove nothing fast in a long time, so. Basically what he's saying is that booty hole puckered up. Nah, I'm, you ain't I'm, it? I'm good. I got it in it already. I'm, I'm already, you know, like, I'm already doing what I'm doing, but I'm like, <laughs> the car, the car is so smooth. So it's like hella different. Yeah. Like the clutch pedal soft on here. The steering and shit feels good. Yeah. Like it's hella different from my C5. My C5, the shifter stiff as shit. Everything on here is like extra soft. So it's like, ah, I gotta get used I mean, to that. I guess you're right. Mine was like this when I lowered it, when I put it on all fours. I drive around like that. It was something wrong. It wasn't right to me. But see, you said you did remove that. Yeah, it's all, it's all gone. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. I just was like, yeah, I'm going straight forever. <laughs> Ain't no turning. <laughs> Ain't no turning. You go. That right there for your boy. Yeah, thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Thumbnailage. You see, I can see myself. Back this way. Come over here, get a thumbnail. I think we good. Yeah. One of these will work. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. The, the, th th the thought one. <laughs> Do that again. I was gonna come in there smiling like. <laughs> Hi, my peeps. As y'all can see, your boy back home, but I'm actually getting ready to head back out. So the reason I went to D's garage today was to grab some parts that he wants me to get powder coated y'all know me i'm not i don't care about powder coating but he was like man while we got them off might as well powder coat them get them looking good uh usually i do not care about powder coating suspension stuff but 
you know, my man's want to get them powder coated, so I'm gonna take them to my powder coater, uh, knock that out. Who knows? Maybe we'll start a start something. Maybe I'll start powder coating more stuff more often or something. Like maybe he'll get me into caring about the things y'all can't see looking pretty. <laughs> But yeah, we got the um, the upgraded Cobra brakes in here, the spindles, brackets, all that stuff. So everything's about to be getting coated. So yeah, I'm about to be taking this with me and y'all going to be coming with me too because I'm going to be here for a couple hours. So I'm actually going to be uh, bringing my laptop and I'm going to be starting to edit for the video that y'all about to be seeing before this. I'm going to be editing that while I'm at the shop. That way I can get this video out to y'all. See, that is hard work and dedication, man. Getting this out while I'm out. Editing while I'm out for y'all. That's love. Nice hour drive. All right, just stuff right here. That we're about to be getting coated. We got the Cobra brakes. Little like brackets. He wants me to get coated. What is all this? It's all the brackets. <laughs> Ain't that bad? They're terrible, bro. I fucking hate calipers, bro. He already took them apart for you. Fucking brackets and all kind of shit, bro. So much he he wants this shit pretty. What? I didn't care about it. I'm not talking about the welds. I'm talking about all the calipers. I know. He wanted them coated. I would have been fine with bare aluminum. Look at that. Make my shit red, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, peoples? Uh, currently, it is 12:27. I was just taking like a little power nap while my phone wasn't here charging. Uh, finished the edit. I'm gonna finish the video edit. So I'm looking in here right now. I can see two calipers uh, looking like they're already red. So I'm gonna go in here and see what's up with this. Looks like he's getting ready to put. Yeah, he's like he's putting stuff in the oven already. Maybe I'll just wait. I'm gonna just save my ass in here. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll show y'all that shit later. I'm gonna finish taking a nap. I'm hella tired. I've been up since like, I wanna say 5.40 this morning. And yeah, so I'll show y'all that shit when it's done. <laughs> I've been going too 